gonna do episode seven. It's actually been a while, but I mean, I felt like a couple of days passed by and still like 38 days left. So we're still good. Um, let's go to episode seven. I changed up my team because I don't know. I thought I changed it up a bit. We sort of had the same team for like a while now. I think ever since my uh, team building video, I've had the same team on there. So I changed it to male, uh, trident, and sky piercer. Because I got male trident, and I was like, uh, I'll try him out, I guess. He's a dexterity type, which is preferred. I thought it was I thought it would be a guard type because he is a guard character or a tank character but um I guess you know dexterity is preferred for him I so And in Sky Piercer I just have cuz I've been leveling her up for no reason at all Okay I don't know how good this guy is I don't know if he's going to be able to take these guys out Oh, no, yeah. He's got it. Sky Piercer, maybe got it. Eh, she's got it. Right now, um, the only units I'm trying to build up right now, I think, are Trident, Male Trident, Thrand, Female, and uh, that new unit, what's her name? It's like... Rank Ranksa female? Like the axe one. Uh oh shoot. T Frings in here. I didn't notice that. Uh no wait, we're still good. We're good. We got a lot of bow units though. Yeah. I wonder what's gonna happen uh after this, cause we have the Madoka Magica event, uh, which is this one right now. The the Valentine's event is also happening at the same time. This is, I think there's only like three days left. So I wonder what we're going to get after this. I'm hoping that we get the Dempa Gummy unit event thing again, because, um, I sort of want those units, and th this time I can actually, like, do it right this time, because I think most of my Dempa Gummy units, I only got one of them, because I didn't know you could grind the units, and then, uh, I didn't know that the, uh, like, limit breaking was a thing when the event came out, so... But Trident's got this. Looks like he's got this in the bag, maybe. He's not strong yet. He's like level 33. Should probably do his uh, character quest. I don't know. T-Fring, wait, did we get rid of T-Fring? Oh no, she's still there. This T-Fring looks weird, by the way. Like. Really weird. Hmm. Well, okay, I think this guy's a bow unit, so we're gonna take you out first. Wow, level 18, okay. Chest with m more. Not helpful stuff. Yeah, we got that crit. The male units are so cool because they have like the little like glowy eye thing with the crit. It looks cool. Uh, we'll just leave it like that. Those guys are bow units too. Dang it. T Fring's probably gonna die. She's probably gonna go after Sky Piercer right now. It's 
it's a. I wanted to do um, Fire Emblem Heroes videos, but uh, I don't know. I feel like there's not much you can do other than the story, which I've already completed, and the uh, you know events sort of thing. But even then, they're not too long. It's usually just one map with increasing difficulties. But I mean, I guess uh, I guess you could do the um, like the paralogs and stuff. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, horses can't go through that. Okay. Huh, I didn't know that. Then again, I never have horse units on my team, so. I don't get why I bring like three other units. I should have just brought like Trident and uh, Sky Piercer. You know who else I should bring? I should bring um, the other two units that I got. I don't think they're going to be that strong though. Or maybe I'll level them up. And, uh, and then bring them. Alright. Trident, you're going to miss. I already know. Or maybe you can hit this guy. I also wanted to do videos on Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, but uh, I feel like a lot of people already got that covered, so why not just stick to what I've been doing, Phantom of the Kill? I mean, of course, I'll probably, you know, do Fire Emblem Heroes videos, because I actually want to do that, because Fire Emblem Heroes is one of my favorite games, uh, and that's the whole reason why I play Phantom of the Kill to begin with. Yeah, it's very similar to Fire Emblem. In fact, this game is more, like, mechanically, I guess, yeah, in terms of mechanics, is more similar to Fire Emblem than Fire Emblem Heroes. Which is funny. Still, while some people... Um, I was looking at the, the uh, I guess, sort of the community as a whole, and uh, some people pretty much up and left the uh, Phantom of the Kill game and went to Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, because, again, most people who are playing this game, the only reason why, or I guess not the only reason why, but one of the main reasons why is because, you know, they're Fire Emblem fans. They want to play a Fire Emblem-esque game on their mobile devices. Uh, and for the longest time, it was Phantom of the Kill. But once Fire Emblem Heroes came out, well, everyone just sort of was like, well, I think I'll go play Fire Emblem Heroes now. But Phantom of the Kill, on its own, has its own charms as well. You know, this game isn't, um, okay, let me just send you over here. Oh no, we all have to go that way, oh, okay. You know, this game has its own sort of, you know, unique characters and maps and everything like that. Unique storyline, uh, and... Pretty much, you know, does what Fire Emblem, you know, does, I guess. I don't know how else you would say that. Well, I guess we could go that way. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to send Skype here through this way then because I think everyone could go over there except for, uh, except for guard characters. Can guard characters not go over there? Um, I was talking to Geokun, and he sort of showed off the Japanese Phantom of the Kill version one time. And I think Phantom of the Kill in Japan 
recently got a new update. I think they got like new characters, and they also got a uh, Shinobi Nightmare um, crossover event, which is pretty awesome. Shinobi Nightmare is pretty cool. Um, it's a Japanese only game, but Shinobi Nightmare is like uh, I think of it as for those of you that know, like Persona One or Persona Q. For those of you who haven't played Persona One. Persona 1, Persona Q-esque sort of dungeon crawler game with Fire Emblem. You know, I think Gummy, Fuji and Gummy Games got something with Fire Emblem because um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. That's pretty much what Shinobi Nightmare is. Uh, and it's not bad. It actually looks really cool. I really, really wish that Fuji and Gummy Games would bring it over here. I think they, they have, uh, they're talking about bringing one more game because i think it was brave frontier phantom of the kill and i think they're talking about bringing one more game over um but they haven't said which one this guy does a lot of damage because this trident magic defense sucks but yeah they're talking about bringing one more game over what that game is, I'm not sure, but I really hope it's Shinobi Nightmare. And I think they own another game that's pretty popular. Um, I can't put, I can't remember what it's called, but I remember, I think the main character looked like Zero. Or Zero looks like that character, whichever one came first, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I hope they, they you know. Out of those two, because I think it's just those two that are really popular. I'm not sure if they have any other property that's pretty big in Japan, but um, I really hope it's Shinobi Nightmare, because Shinobi Nightmare looks really great. Like, I, I played, um, I downloaded the APK file for it, like, a while ago, and I played it. I didn't understand anything, so, you know, that sort of went there. But for the most part, um... You know, Shinobi Nightmare was sort of like that Persona Q, Persona 1 game with Fire Emblem mechanics. And the only Fire Emblem thing, I guess, related to it was the um, the weapon system. They have axes, lances, and swords. And I think they also have staff units, uh, as in like healers and everything like that. Um, so, you know, if you had a sword unit, it'd be good against an axe. And you, you guys already know how it goes down. Um, but I thought that was a pretty cool concept, and then it, they haven't brought it over, I think it's like their first anniversary or second anniversary already, so it's been a while. Uh, wait a second, there's not an exit? Wait, what? Uh... Okay, well, uh, whatever. I mean, these guys are going to die anyways. Um, but yeah, it would be really cool to see Shinobi Nightmare come over. And I think it's going to be a while, though, if, once we get that collab, though, because, uh, you know, JP is already on their second anniversary. Um, and they just recently got it. Not recently, recently, but... Uh, I think it was like maybe two weeks ago or a week ago. I, th I think it was two weeks ago. Um, so it's going to be a while before we get that because we still got to get the um, Fate Stay Night collab. We still got to get the uh, Mob uh, Mob Psycho, I think it was, or uh, Psychopath. I don't remember if they're what it's called exactly, but there's still like a few collabs that we need to get before we'll probably get Shinobi Nightmare. Probably. I don't know, because there's a lot of talk that maybe we won't get some of the other collabs that JP got. Uh, so maybe we'll get a few different ones. Like, that's sort of, like, one of the things. Um, or one of the topics that I guess that's brought up. But maybe I'll talk about it in the next video, because uh, we finished stage 7 and 8, 
and the next one's gonna be the grand finale. Finale. Um, nine and ten. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Oh, and here's the the Valentine's event that's going on. I don't think I'm going to do it. Mm, at least not this time. Because I'm. I mean, we have enough time for the Madoka Magica event, but um. I'll see. I'll see. Uh, maybe I'll finish the first part of the Madoka Magic of it and then like rush the, or not rush, but you know, get into the Electric Valentine because there's not a lot of stages. Uh, but I'll see. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.